With connections, your team can work with the most up-to-date information and many processes simultaneously. Connect pipes, cards, and databases to fill out fields, create records, and more. In this video, you'll learn how connections work to gain confidence in managing yours. There are many ways to use connections in your processes. For example, in a purchase process, when a purchase order is moved to the final phase, which is done, the connection creates the same card in the expense report process. Or in a recruitment process, when a candidate fills out the application form, they can easily select the job position they're applying to from a connected database. This way, HR guarantees receiving standardized information. Let's get into the customer support pipe so you can learn how to start creating connections. First, let's connect it to a database. This way, you can use information from records to fill out cards. To add a connection, click on the Add Connection button next to the pipe's name. Then, choose the pipe or database you want to connect. In this case, let's connect this process to a database that contains customer information. This way, the support team can easily access it while solving a request. Then, select the function. This is how you will interact with the connected pipe or database. Only search database records. Only create database records in the process without permission to search for new ones, or both search and create database records through the connection. Then choose how many database records can be selected as the connection is ready. A single item or multiple items. You can also select advanced options, such as autocomplete records in a database with information from a pipe. You choose how to connect data in your workflow. As the connection is completed, save it. You can easily access the new connection on the pipe's header. This way, it'll be easier to check database records and connected cards. Now let's connect processes. For this, repeat the same steps as before. Click on the Add Connection icon next to the connections you've already created. Then give it a name and select the pipe that needs to be connected. Creating connections between pipes works the same way as connecting databases. Choose a function and the number of items that can be created or searched. If you want, you can set up advanced settings and save. Now let's connect their cards. For example, a card that resembles a support request in the customer support pipe can be connected with another card in the customer feedback pipe. For this, open the respective pipe and select the customer feedback pipe on the left side. Then click the Create Feedback button and choose a card in the connected pipe. Done! Connecting a card allows you to check its information anytime without toggling between many pipes. As you manage the entire process, you can easily check the cards that have active connections. Click on the icon that resembles an arrow next to the card's title. A card that contains this icon is a parent card. This means a connection has been created from this card. Now, the cards that were connected with a parent card are called child cards. Child cards don't have an arrow icon but they display the parent card's title. You can create automations to move cards across processes, create more cards or database records, and many other possibilities. To find more details on how to create connections in your process, join PipeFi Academy's free process management courses. 
learn how to manage your workflow from end to end and create connections that work well for you. If you need extra help, visit Pipefy's Help Center to read articles and tutorials. Also, become a Pipefy community member to come together with many doers around the world.